What is going on everybody? It is Dylan with Astro DFS bringing you a brand new video. Today's video is the last slate of the 2023-2024 season and it is a Super Bowl showdown. Uh, we have a six million dollar pool for this one so uh, getting a lot more money to um, not just first place. First place is always going to be a million but some of the lower placed uh, caches is going to pay out a little more on this one than it would before so i uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and it's uh, it's a very top heavy uh, slate, right? We get CMC at 12k, Patrick Mahomes 10.6, Kelsey 10.2, and Purdy 10. So four players above 10k, and then right below that is Debo Samuel 92, Brandon Ayuk at 88, uh, and Isaiah Pacheco at 8,000. Um, going right behind him. She writes at 7,600, George Kittle, 64, those kind of the mid, uh, high mid price players. And then we get the kickers at 52 and 5,000. Even the kickers are expensive on this slate. <laughs> They're making sure that these kickers are, 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 are getting paid on this one. That's a very high price for um, kickers on a showdown. Usually it's mid 4K range. Um, Get him at 5K is is, is crazy. Uh, 49ers defense at 44. And then Juwan Jennings at 4K. Don't get that one. Chiefs defense at 34. NBS, 3K. Elijah Mitchell, 28. Uh, Justin Watson, 24. Sky Moore, if he's back, 2K. Uh, Noah Gray, 1,800. Has Noah... Am I missing something? Of why Noah Gray's eighteen hundred dollars? I don't make sense. Uh, Michael Harmon sixteen. Kadarius Tony at fourteen hundred. Edwards Alaire twelve hundred. Use check eight hundred. Um, and then I think the only other person we're looking at is Jarek McKinnon. Uh, if he does, um, if he does get activated and in, McKinnon's dirt cheap at two hundred. Uh, so, just going off of what we're going to see, right, I'll, I'll have a, uh, a breakdown video going out later this week, but uh, just going off of kind of the first look of, of just an example of, like, how crazy this slate's going to be, right? So, obviously, you want CMC in your lineup. Like, he's just going to be a high-volume guy in this one. Um, pass game, running game, right? But also his touchdown opportunities. So, this is just to put in a perspective of how crazy it's going to be. So CMC puts us down $700 already. Uh, and that's without a captain, right? So I like to do this and just go and we'll give an example, right? So um, let's get a name down here. And just for the sake of the video, let's throw in Nicole Hardman. Right, I don't love it, but that kind of balances out. So you go back up to ninety one hundred. So that's where you get that balancing. But if you want to play these guys, right? Like even if you play, I, I like Rasheed Rice, so I'm fine with playing that ninety six. You're still gonna have to get a captain. So let, let's put you know um, Mahomes, right? Sixty four hundred, which means you were not getting a combination of any of these guys. You could get one out of these four, but that's that's it. That's that's it. That's all you're getting. So let's get a Kansas City guy. So let's let's get someone like Brandon Ayuk. And we'll have a 4D100. So um, now let's let's get somebody other than Mahomes at captain, right? Let's put um, I like Brandon Ayuk. So let's put Brandon Ayuk in. Obviously, we want CMC in as well. Rasheed Rice as well. Uh, for this one, let's. Say for the sake of the video, Jarek McKinnon's in dirt cheap. 8,500 still. Like, this is what I mean. Like, if you want to go um, Mahomes as well, you can't get Purdy, Kelsey, Debo, Kittle, Pacheco. Like, you're fading top names. It's, it's going to happen, whether you like it or not. You're fading, you know, either CMC, you're fading one of the two quarterbacks or you're potentially fading all three of the top pass catchers 
uh, in this one, right? You can afford Rasheed Rice. You can afford George Kittle. Those guys are easy to get to. Isaiah Pacheco still even, I, I would say, easy to get to. I don't love in this slate, though, um, or this matchup. But you're you're not getting more than three of these guys. Like, we, we could try. We'll, we'll Let's put Rasheed Rice as captain, and that saves us a lot of money. We're going to get another cheap guy. So we'll look down here and we'll say Kadarius Tony. All right. Now for captain again, let's go. Let's go Brandon Ayuk. 9,200. And that's, so we could get, we can get two. So let's go. Let's go CMC. Let's go Kelsey. And then we could get a kicker. But we're fading both quarterbacks, which is terrible. We're facing D or uh, fading Debo. Um yeah, it, it's just not great, right? You you can't have three pass catchers on Kansas City uh and then not have the quarterback. That just doesn't add up. So like I said, it, it's gonna be a challenging one um to make your lineup, right? Uh I, I recommend making multiple lineups if you can. Uh maybe not in the the fifteen dollar entry but DraftKings has a uh, quarter contest a uh, 50 cent contest dollar contest like there are ways for you to get multiple lineups and you're going to need it if you're playing one lineup you're taking a very big risk on on this player pool right it's a big player pool you have a lot of big name scores especially in fantasy like you have an rb1 uh top five quarterback top three tight end uh two top 20 wide receivers i think pacheco was a top 20 wide receiver uh kittle was a top 12 tight end um yeah i mean it, there's a lot and even the kicker right like harrison bucker 40 field goals moody like 24 24 harrison bucker with 40 though and then you get two top five defenses and the 49ers in cheap so it, it's it's going to be a very uh, interesting one. Um, luckily, the good thing about this, the only two injuries that we're waiting for, uh, and this is going to develop probably game time decision or later in the week, is Jarek McKinnon and Sky Moore. That's it. Uh, the, the other thing that's going to be kind of difficult, right, is finding who you're going to pay down for on the Kansas City side, right? And what I mean by that is MBS is 3K, so he's a value play for me. Anything... Under 3K is a value. So MBS. Then you get Justin Watson. You're going to get Sky Moore. You're going to get Noah Gray. You're going to get Nicole Hardman. You're going to get Kadarius Toney and Jarek McKinnon. If all those guys are healthy. Obviously, someone's not going to be playing, I would imagine, a wide receiver. Um, I would say you're good with MBS. You're good with Justin Watson. You're good with Nicole Hardman. Then it's figuring out between... Um, Sky Moore, Kadarius Tony, Richie James, of who's gonna who's gonna dress and who's not, right? Uh No Gray is gonna play. So he's there. He's an option, but still one, two, three, four, potentially five guys down here in the value range on Kansas City side. You're gonna have to find one that hits value for uh for you. Now let's go on the opposite side, right? And we're gonna take the, the defensive. Uh, perspective of this and try to build a lineup with defenses right so we're going to want both defenses let's get Harrison Bucker he gets us a lot of points let's let's get a for sure fire guy and CMC as captain uh, and then we're going to get two other guys we're going to get uh, Rasheed Rice 11-6 uh, let's get Travis Kelsey right so this is going to defensive uh, route so we don't have the quarterbacks obviously the quarterbacks are still going to be two of the highest uh, but playing the defenses means you're 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 hoping the defenses are within the top six scores, top six, top eight scores, and that's both defenses. If you're doing this type of strategy, now you could play one of the defenses and play a four stack against two. Um, but I think this kind of balances out quite well. Uh, obviously, on the Sam Fran side, we can easily change this and uh take rice or kelsey out and get debo 
or uh, Ayuk or Kittle. Um, but defensive way, so let's just let's just do it. Um, let's get Kelsey out of there. I, I do like Kelsey though. Uh, let's just put Debo. You get a three and three stack with both defenses. The only downside is Kansas City. The only player on offense you're rooting for is Rasheed Rice. But with that being said, you know you're you're also hoping Harrison Bucker gets you some points too, and that kind of contradicts going the 49ers defense, right? Um, but as far as salary wise, that's kind of an example, and you get CMC at captain. So um, hope you guys did enjoy this one. Like I said, I will have a breakdown on DraftKings and FanDuel. Uh, probably have a FanDuel, either first look or FanDuel, uh, separate breakdown for you guys because I know FanDuel have some contests. I'll have some betting videos going out throughout the week as well once those numbers are um, out there, you know, with different books, and we can kind of look at that. So hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, sorry about the hiatus the last few weeks. I uh, just needed to take a personal break. Um, a lot of stuff going on in the personal life, and with playoffs coming out, it was just... I felt like it was a good time to take that break. So I um, apologize for the lack of content over the last few weeks. And I will see you guys in the next one.